Sky Sports will be making a notable change to their punditry lineup as preparations get underway for the 2024 season. Sky Sports will be making one new addition to their pundit lineup for the 2024 F1 season, while the current crop of analysts and former drivers will remain unchanged. The iconic broadcaster has yet to announce the latest name to join their ranks. According to a report from Planet F1, Sky Sports will be making one tweak to their lineup for the 2024 campaign, following on from the decision to let Paul D. Resta and Johnny Herbert go prior to the start of the 2023 season. This means that the iconic commentary duo of David Croft and Martin Brundle will remain intact, although the latter won't be present at every race. Sky Sports will also retain the services of former F1 drivers Nico Rosberg, Jensen Button and Karun Chandhok, as well as Anthony Davidson and Damon Hill. Fellow former racing drivers Naomi Schiff and Danica Patrick will also return to our screens for the 2024 season with the latter reportedly set to appear at seven different Grand Prix throughout the season. There will also be a place in the lineup for former Aston Martin strategist Bernie Collins, while Simon Lazenby will continue to anchor the race weekend coverage from trackside. Regarding the presenter lineup, Natalie Pinkham and Rachel Brooks will continue with the broadcaster, while reporter Craig Slater will also remain part of the operation. Fans of Ted Crabb and Notebook segment will also be pleased as the pit lane reporter will stay on in his role for another season, rounding off the Sky Sports F1 punditry lineup for 2024. After he departed from the lineup ahead of the 2023 campaign, Herbert discussed his shock dismissal, telling the Mirror, I didn't decide to step away, I thought everything was going ahead. And then I got a call in December, I think it was when I was told things were changing. It wasn't explained why or what was changing. There was a mention of social media stuff and that was about it, really. I don't really know. I was always aware. At Sky, they do these subscriber checks where you're given points out of 10 and I've always known I was always quite popular on that side. It's a shame, but I am over it. Moving on.